Hey everybody, Scout Crafty here again. We got another unusual wrench. Uh, let's get started for a real quick one today. Okay, today's wrench is a number 11 simplex ratchet, chrome vanadium. And you can see it says a uh, patent date of January uh, 19, January 1st, 1924. It's a simplex wrench company in New York. And you can see what kind of shape this is in. You can see it's embedded rust here. Remember what that looks like. Remember all the, see the, the, you know, the grinding. When these things come out of the factory, they just, you know, they're, they're pumping them out one, two, three. They don't have time to do any kind of polish or anything. So, but we're going to take care of that. And then we're going to test it out. See what we got. Okay, we went to uh, three different wire brushes working our way all the way down from coarse to fine. We got uh, all the rust off the wrench. The problem is now we can't polish this out because of the lettering that's on here. The SAE, the zero, the SAE, and over here where it says uh, fast nut license. So um, what we're going to have to do, we'll polish this out here, but you can see we're going to have to leave this casted and uh we'll shellac over that and then we'll try and highlight these letters in here so let's get started. well we took it over to the buffer buffed everything out and as you can remember what it used to look like and we are calling this wrench finished now i wanted to enhance it with the little red in there but the letters just weren't didn't stand out enough for me to do it um as you could see uh polished out the wrench you can see what kind of finish we have again with the mirrored finish over there uh, polished out both ends, even the sides here. It took quite a while, but uh, it came out really nice. And this is what the wrench, you know, this is the original, what the wrench would have looked like, I guess, uh, new. Actually, probably better than new with the polishing, but it probably came out looking like this, not like that old rusty thing. So let's try it out. I believe this wrench was good for six sizes of nuts. So let's see if we can get a few together and see yeah, what I made a little like. wrench tester here, a little nut tester here for this wrench. Now this, uh, like I said, about six sizes this wrench will use, will work on. So here's the smaller size. You see how that fits in there. And this is how you would tighten. You see it's a, it's, it works almost like a slip wrench. That's why they call it like a speed wrench. Same, here's the second size. See how that works going into place and then here would be the third the third size you see how that works and then to loosen you would just turn it around and just go the opposite way and you can see it works by fitting into the second and then here the last notch pretty good we'll try the big one okay out. for the larger size now that was the smaller here's the larger and this would be the smallest nut that it works on you can see how that works on there how it it clips in, encapsulates the nut or fastener, and then to loosen it, you would turn around the same way. And then that's the uh, the smallest one. This one here would be the medium, and you can see how that works. And again, to loosen. And then here, third one to tighten. See the, the range? There's quite a bit of a range difference between the two size nuts here. And uh, I'm thinking that m there might have been a different set of these wrenches because this says uh, number zero on here, over here, there's a zero. So maybe there's a one and two that's got the filled in sizes that were indifferent. Anyway, it's a uh, the simplex wrench, pretty interesting. And you see how it works, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks very much for stopping by. Take care, have a nice day.